Hey, yarn the bees. Okay, I'm gonna do this real quick just because I'm getting ready to go to work. I gotta leave in 10 minutes. George is getting out of here as well. So you're gonna hear him crashing around. Um, and the reason is because I can't carry the all of this to work to show you at work. So, <laughs> Okay, so the MJ off the hook sweater is taking forever. Oh, I am so not used to doing um, uh, garments with a smaller hook and smaller yarn. I'm used to doubling it up or using bulky yarn. So this is, for me, is just treacherous. <clears throat> but I'm sure it's going to look wonderful when it's done. And I, the price that I have to put on it at the store is not going to... Um, be anything like it should be considering the work that I put into it. So, but having said that, here it is. This is, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, it's just about past the boobs. Um, but yeah, it's taking a long time. And it's just, I had to put it down and work on something else because I just, I was going into a tunnel tunnel vision and I was getting bored <clears throat> so but the armholes are now in it um, and now I'm working on the body I don't know how long how far down I'm gonna go with this um, but we'll see how it goes <clears throat> I've noticed in the last couple of days my voice has been really froggy I don't know why maybe I <coughs> excuse me allergic reactions to something I don't know. Okay. So, yeah. So, I was using the lollipop for that. This this lollipop and this lollipop. Okay. Um, now, like I said, I was I needed to have like a palette cleanser project. Oh, and there's Crochet B. It's going to work. Okay. Bye. Oh, oh almost, don't almost, fall over. Almost fell for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> um <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So the project that I was starting with this, the um bitsy stripes, I ended up frogging it. I hated it. Um I only had like that much done. So, yeah, I didn't like it at all. So, I redid this piece. Now, this pattern, not pa it's not a pattern. It's a stitch tutorial. It's not a pattern for anything. Um, this is by Massive Crochet. Now, if you want to learn any stitch that is different... Um, I would check her channel out. I will leave her link down below. Uh, this one's called Very Easy Crochet Pattern for Beginners. Most of her patterns say that. <laughs> um, this is definitely an advanced kind of stitch. This is not a beginner stitch because of the placement of these stitches. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and also... <sighs> I mean, I've had to frog this a couple of times because I've done the wrong row on the wrong section. and But it's beautiful, but it's giving me a headache. It's just, I have to really look at it and go, okay, is that the right stitch for that, um, that section? Because, yeah, um, my brain doesn't work certain ways and I need to see the definite pattern of how it goes and be able to have it stick in my brain if I've got too many things going on at the same time my brain just goes and it just doesn't work anymore so this one has been a bit of trial and error and the only reason why I'm keeping up with it is because I like the pattern I like the way it's turning out okay so there it is But the placement of these 
stitches in certain rows it just it really messes me up and I went through three or four rows and realized I totally messed it up and I had to frog it so I have to really focus on it and make sure and look I have to look like this row here I have to look a couple rows down to make sure that that's the right row for that it's uh, it's a whole thing but anyway <clears throat> this one does take more concentration for me it may be for you guys it may be like oh that's easy right but I need repetition in my rows and if I've got like there I think this is like a one two three this is like a four or five row repeat so I don't do well with that kind of thing I didn't realize when I started it that that's the way it was but yeah it's like a four row four row repeat so in each row you're doing something different and th that just fries my brain I I need simple um but she has a lot of tutorials on her channel that are amazing. Oops, that ball goes with this one. Um, absolutely amazing, and I want to try them. <clears throat> I just happen to have picked the one that's going to hurt my head. So, <laughs> And this is supposed to be a cardigan. Or a bomber sweater. Like, I'm not sure. I was planning on doing a tutorial on the sweater. I don't think I'm going to because trying to explain this, like I said, it hurts my head. And yeah. But anyway, um, I have, I don't, I've got like four projects on the go and I don't know why I do this. And I'm looking at my pile like, okay, don't, don't judge me. Okay. Because, like, the, my OGs know this is just the way I am. <laughs> my chaos. Okay. That is a pile of stuff that never got finished. This is piles of yarn. And, yeah. So, I've got all of that. And then I've got all this here that's sitting beside me. Um... <laughs> yeah because I don't have a yarn room anymore right <laughs> so don't judge <laughs> it's just my chaos um yeah so I mean I've got projects out there up there that will probably never get done <sighs> which is sad so <clears throat> yeah um and then I've got all my plushy yarn right there just in case I decide I want to make a plushy to just wipe my brain clean so yeah but anyways I gotta go I gotta get to work and I will talk to you guys in a while bye hi yarn of bees okay so I just came from Michael's okay I'm still in front of Michael's <laughs> um because I'm making those dragons I'm Oh, there's a lot of pieces to those dragons, you guys. Oh, I'm just... Oh, can't even. Um, but anyway, so I went and I had to pick up... Where did I have to pick up? I had to pick up... Oh, some silver um, yarn for the wings. And I also had to pick up a t-shirt for a customer for a shirt that I'm doing for her. And of course, I was like, well, I would love to do a dragon in this color and one in this color. And yeah, because when I'm doing those parts and thinking I have to sew those parts together, I'm going, I'm not making another one. But <laughs> I think it's gonna look really adorable when it's done, so who knows. And even if I don't make another one, I can always use this yarn that I'm, I got for other amigar, uh, uh, plushies. So that's good. 
But anyways, of course I paid full price. Duh. Uh, um, but anyways, I was talking to the manager there. His name is Josh. And I said, Josh, I says, what in the hell? I says, why is Michael's not carrying the boxes of fiber fill anymore? He says, I don't know. He says, I, I was away for a while and um, I just got back and I just found out. And I says, this has been going on for a while, right? I guess he's been gone for a while. But anyway, um, so I says, you know, like, are they bringing them back? Are they like not? Is it just going to be the loops and thread stuff now? Um, he says, honestly, he says, I don't know. I'm looking into it. He says, some of the Michaels still have the boxes. And I was like, really? And it's like, yeah. And he says, and he heard that Michaels is coming out with a bigger box. Yay. Um, so I don't know. He says, I don't know. God, my boobs look huge. This, sorry, but I just noticed this. I'm like, Whoa, rain in these puppies. Oh my God. Okay, we're just going to put you up a little bit here. <laughs> my God. Um, so anyway, uh, he says that he's looking into it. He's going to see what he can do. And um, yeah, he thinks it's ridiculous. He, he's, he said it was one of his best sellers. I says, why is it whenever there's a best seller, they get rid of stuff? They get rid of that thing that's the best seller. It, it makes no sense at all. He's like, I don't know. So he's looking into it. Because um, I told him, I says, even like for Canadians, we were paying, I don't know about back East Canada, but here we were paying $39 for that five pound box of, of fiber fill. And we were getting mad when it was 29 and they put it up. Or no, it was... Was it 39 or was it 35? But anyway, we were mad when they put it up, uh, put the price up. But you know what? I've been looking and I've got the wholesaler that I can get it from in Toronto. But they wanted $100 shipping. Oh, hell no. I, I sent them a message and I was like, what is this all about? You know, so I says, fiber fill does not weigh that much. Like, come on. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from them. But I said to Josh, I said, even at $39 or $35 or whatever it was, a box, it was still cheaper than getting it anywhere else. I, I mean, have you see, have you looked at the price of fiber fill on Amazon? Oh my God, that five pound box is like one hundred and fifty dollars. I was like, no, this is crazy. So, and the Walmart brand is crap. Because it's so silky and so fluffy that it does not compact. It's it's just, it's like pillow fluff. Um, like, it just, it's horrible. It's so slippery and it just doesn't, it doesn't, it does not compact. And then when you try to push it down, it goes completely flat. Right? There's no substance to it. <sighs> so... Anyway, so I'll if when I find out, I'll let you guys know. I'm wondering if um, Crystal from oh my god, I totally forgot her name, that her channel name. She's Canadian. Oh my good lord! Somebody put it in the comments down below. Um, she changed her channel name. Now I just, I can't even, I can't even remember. Anyway, she works for Michaels, or she, at least she did. I wonder if she would know. Crystal, if you're out there, Ricola, Ricola, Crystal, Ricola, 
AKA, AKA Ricola. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, leave a comment down below if you're list if you're watching. I don't even know if she watches my channel anymore. She's so busy that she's, you know, she probably doesn't have time to watch anybody. Um, but anyway, if she knows, that would be great. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, so I was kind of surprised at that. But if they come out with a bigger box, even if the bigger box is like $50, I'd buy it. Because why not? You know, support local. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to continue on. It's been taking me all day to do this freaking dragon. It's because I don't know what I'm doing, right? So the next one should go faster, I hope. Ugh, sorry, I have, to, I have to open my windows. It's like blazing hot. It's, uh, oh, it only says it's 28, but there's a wind, so. Anyway. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So, this dragon is three feet long. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of crocheting. That's a lot of crocheting. So, I think that he's adorable. Um, but that's just because I made him. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's my dragon. And, yeah, the price, I, I'm so confused on the price. I don't know. I think at least 80, but, um, I don't know. I have a hard time with pricing stuff like that because, you know, people look at it and go, oh, wow, yeah, that's really nice. It's really cool or whatever, but are they actually going to open their wallet to pay what you're worth? No, they're not. So, <clears throat> um, they don't look at it as... It's handmade. It took a long time. This thing took me from 8 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night to finish. That's crazy. You know, like, when you look at it and you think, oh, it's, it's not huge. Like, it's not, it's not really big. It's like the body on it and everything isn't huge, but... It's all the little parts, the little parts and putting it all together. And that's what took the time, right? Because there's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen parts. Uh, four, no, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen 17 parts on this to put together. So, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, but I, I love him. I love him. I think he's so cute. So I got to take him to the shop today and see what kind of a response I get. I'm, I'm thinking about putting him in the window. Um, I've got earrings and stuff. I'm going to have to rearrange. Ugh. Five the fluff, man, I tell you. The fluff, this, this, um, chenille, velvet, whatever, I had so much fluff. I had a big pile on the floor and it's all in my couch. I'm using a, um, uh, what do you call it? One of these things to try and get it all out, but I feel like I'm never going to be done with it because it's everywhere. Um, oh, oh. I've never had, I've never had a ball of this stuff come apart so much. It was so frustrating. Um, it's, yeah. Every time I tried to sew 
something together, like a leg on or an arm on or whatever, this stuff would break and it would bunch up so that you couldn't pull it through. I struggled so much just trying to get the limbs on with this stuff. I, I really am not a fan of this velvet stuff. And this is an old batch. This is something I got a long time ago. So, yeah, because like this, this from this velvet from um, uh, Premier doesn't do that. Right. And these are what I make my pickles out of. It does not do that. But this stuff, holy hell, even this, this is um, the Loops and Threads Chenille Home Slim doesn't do that. Not, not bad anyway. But whatever, uh, and this, this is the Chenille Home Slim too, but I don't know what the hell, if it was a bad batch or what. Oh, it drove me nuts. <sighs> so, yeah. But I did buy, I bought a couple of other colors. Do you want to see? Hold on. Okay, so <laughs> I bought this. This color is yeah, oh, it doesn't have a color name. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, this is the color that I bought. And it's it looks more bluey. It's like a pastel blue. It's not quite matching up. But I got that one. I thought that would make a beautiful dragon. And then I got this one. Oh, it's, again, it's not, this is more green than it's showing on camera. This color is number, the SKU number is 31. And then the SKU number on this one is CHS07. So, <clears throat> but this is like a sea glass green. That's kind of what this is. But it's not showing that in the camera. So this is a beautiful color. And then I bought some white. Because um, I thought, well, I can always use this for seals or whatever. And I went into the uh, clearance section. Guess what I found? Latte cakes. Um, they're regular $14.99. I got them on for $10. So I would go in your clearance section in your Michaels and see what they've got. Because, yeah, not bad. So I grabbed a couple of those as well. Wow. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I think the next, I think I'm going to make a turtle or something next. Just to kind of ah, cleanse my palate from this dragon. Um, I don't know. Something simple for my brain. No. I think, but I'm definitely the next go around. I'm gonna do batches. Um, I'm gonna do all the pieces and put them in a bag or a box or something, and then do another color of all the pieces, and then just keep doing that, and then put it all together later. Put however many I've got together later because this was I because I didn't know what I was doing right so I had no idea what it was going to look like <clears throat> so it just took a long time so I'm also bamboo skewers from the dollar store if you're doing something like this get some because oh and I'm dropping stuff <coughs> You use those to hold your pieces together, and I'll tell you, I, I can't remember who I learned that from. It was um, on a page of, or on a channel of somewhere. But man, that that's a game changer. That's a real game changer. So yeah. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna get ready to go to work. I'll talk to you guys later.